Hello, this is Mental Health Student 22 and I'm back on YouTube. So today I'll be talking about can LSD cause schizophrenia? And we'll say that no, but yes. So, to answer to this question, we'll see first how LSD works in the brain and then how schizophrenia works in the brain. So, there's a region called the lateral geniculate nucleus, which is the vision relay in the thalamus with info coming from the optic nerves going to the occipital lobe. At this level, the info is coded by a neurotransmitter called serotonin. LSD resembles serotonin a lot. So, when you take it by mouth, it's gonna go to the brain and imitate serotonin and it's gonna cause visual hallucinations. So now, how does schizophrenia work in the brain? We're going to make it simple. There's glutamate, but we're going to forget about it, and mostly dopamine. When there's too much dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway, we have symptoms like hallucinations and delusions, positive symptoms. When we have not enough dopamine in the mesocortical pathway, we're going to have negative symptoms like social withdrawal and all that. So, as you know, schizophrenia is a long-term disorder. The disorder has to last for at least six months to be diagnosed. Otherwise, we are talking about schizophrenia from disorder. So we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you about how to uh, the, the not how to diagnose, but uh, the, the the criteria for schizophrenia. But we're gonna be interested in the people who take LSD and have symptoms for a lifetime, because two people taking the same dose of LSD may have very different responses. One guy may have bad trip for a few hours, and the other guy may have hallucinations and long-term bad trip for a while, like several years, and it may be irreversible. So we're gonna see that. Are we really talking about schizophrenia in, in the long-term uh, disease? Because we know that anyway, before I tell you anything else, we know that schizophrenia cannot be diagnosed only because you have hallucinations. There are other criteria. So we're going to see that and I'm going to give you a response. From a strictly physiological point of view, no! <laughs> It's not the same because simply we we don't need to to look at this at the criteria from the DSM. It's just that if we take the uh, way how it, the, the if we take the, the way of working of schizophrenia and the way of working of LSD in the brain, we see that one is caused by dopamine and one co is caused by serotonin. So it has nothing to do together. Even if LSD gives all the criteria. For schizophrenia, if we stick to the brain, it does not work because it's not causing any dopaminergic symptom and any dopaminergic um, any disorder. It's only causing disorder of serotonin binding. So, if you take, it's 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 it, we can we can see we can really see it because if you take. Antipsychotics, which antagonize the dopaminergic receptors in the mesolimbic bundle, in the mesolimbic pathway, there will be a decrease of symptoms in the people who have too much dopamine, but it doesn't work. 
it does not work for people who took LSD and have hallucination. It does not decrease the symptoms. So it's really another way of working of this disease. So no, if you take, even if you have all the criteria, if you stick to the brain, it does not work. LSD cannot cause schizophrenia. On the other hand, if you only stick to the DSM, yes, LSD can cause schizophrenia because sometimes LSD gives all the new criteria for schizophrenia. As a result, if you only stick to the DSM, you can diagnose schizophrenia from someone who took LSD that caused schizophrenic symptoms. Why? Because as of today, there is no neurological examination, no medical exam that looks at the brain that is required, required to diagnose schizophrenia. So yes, schizophrenia LSD can cause the diagnosis of schizophrenia, even in the brain, it's not the same thing at all. Thank you for watching.